Hey guys, Dan here, and I'm doing a video requested by a user on Plex Collections and how to set them up, how to not mess them up. Um, it's actually really easy. Uh, Plex will automatically do it for you if you enable it inside of your settings, but there's uh, like everything in Plex. It doesn't do everything perfectly automatically. And there's always some type of tweaking that you're gonna have to do to it to make it to exactly what you would like. So uh, let's get into movies and then we'll go into uh, TV shows and then show you how they mix with movies if you want to do like a mixture of movies and TV shows in the same collection. So let's start off here in movies and as you can see I'm already in the collections tab. If I wanted to go into my library and see everything I can go right here as well. Now if you see I already have some collections here and you don't see the movies. Now that is a setting that I have enabled. So first thing you're going to want to do when you set up a collection is just enable it inside of your movies section. So you're going to go to the, uh, the three dots over here, uh, manage library, and then edit. We're going to go to advanced, and then you can scroll down to the bottom of that page, and you'll see collections over here. By default, I believe it's set to disable. You have hide items, which are in collections, and then show collections and their items. Uh, uh, this is uh, what my old server was set to and I didn't use collections because I hated the way it looked like and I didn't know that the other option was there. So this is what it would look like if I had my library without the uh, the collections uh, enabled where you only see what's in a collection. Now the reason why it's all messed up alphabetically over here is because of something that I personally did inside of the uh, collection organization that I have set up so let's just ignore that but you, you'd see like um, let's say I scroll down to a lot oh let's do another movie Atlantis right so you can see right here we have Milo's return and uh, lost Empire over here but then we also have the Atlantis collection you click on it and it has the two movies in it now I think that this is a very sloppy way of displaying it because there's a lot of stuff on screen and especially if someone's using your server and they don't know exactly what's going on. You know, they might be like, oh, Beauty and the Beast, I'm gonna click on it, and they see there's three different movie options. They might get confused as to why it's not playing automatically. So I like to leave it on uh, hide things that are in collections, because I think it's a much cleaner look and it reduces on clutter inside of your server. So again, we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll go to hide items which are in collections. Great. Now you see it's much more organized. I can just click on the movie and it brings up the collection. Um, now, let's just get to one more setting in here and then we'll get into the uh, settings inside of the collections that you might wanna edit. So let's just go to edit over here, advance, and we're gonna scroll down and usually I look for this menu over here. So it says minimum automatic collection size. Now you can set this to disable one, two, three, or four. Um, when I started, I had it set to one and uh, I ran into issues where I have like the Fox and the Hound. I don't have Fox and the Hound 2 yet. So when I click on it, it just has the original Fox and the Hound where I'm like, ah, I really could have just pressed on that one thing and it would have worked a lot better as compared to just, you know, having to do two clicks to play the movie. I could have had one click. So I enabled it to two now. It really doesn't bother me having the one. So I might actually just set it back. But for now, let's leave it to two. Now. As far as collection organization, I'm going to go into uh, my Godzilla Showa collection to kind of show you how I have it set up. Um, now, if you don't know the Godzilla series, Showa are the original movies from 1954 to 1975, as nicely marked over here. And we're just going to click on it. Now, you can see that everything looks pretty good except for a couple things. First off, uh, we have Gojira, and then we have Godzilla King of the Monsters. Um, Godzilla King of the Monsters is not originally in this collection, and when you would put it inside and organize it by release date, you could see you'd put it after Raids again, which wouldn't make any sense because chronologically, this is the order of the movies that you should watch. Now, if you don't know, Godzilla King of the Monsters is an American recut of the, Ameri of the first film Gojira, uh, it adds Raymond Burr. It's almost like a very different movie, but I believe it belongs in this collection as opposed to having your own separate collection. So what we can do then is um, just uh, organize alphabetically. And how I do that is instead of 
I'm sorting them by title, I sort them, I give them a number as their sort title. So this way it plays one through, uh, how far is this? I believe this one is 15. So I give this one 1.5 because it's not its own movie. It doesn't deserve to be two. This is number two. So I, that's my own personal organization. If you want to change that, of course, you can uh, do whatever you want. Now, opposed to a different movie that has two different cuts, which is Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, this is a movie that has two different cuts, an extended Japanese cut and a shorter American cut um, to disperse any rumors. Uh, King Kong wins in both of them. So you can just squash any rumors saying that there's a cut where Godzilla wins. Now, how this one's a little different, though, is I have different versions. So if I go to play version, uh, you can see there's two different ones. Uh, one is a Japanese cut. One is the American cut. I haven't gotten into the fine details of how to uh, sort so it says which cut it is. But I can just click on it and pick on the version that I want. Um, I'll have to figure that out a little further down the line. But that's the point of this video. Now, for the last thing that I want to show as far as automatic collections and everything, I want to show you my Star Wars collection. Now you can see I only have movies in here. I have it in order. In a uh, chronological viewing order. And then I have my despecialized editions, the Ewok movies, and then the holiday special. You know, so again, obviously these movies weren't organized uh, when they were released and they were all different release dates. So it wouldn't make sense to have them organized by release date. Um, so again, I went with an alphabetical sort and then I gave them a number assigned to their chronological order. Obviously this happens in the middle, but very early in the series. So I give that a 2.2. The holiday specials, I gave it an E. I mean, uh, the Ewok movies, I gave it an E, then a number. The Despecialized, they gave a D, and then a uh, episode number, so on and so forth. Now, let's just say you had your Star Wars collection, and you're like, hey, I want I want the uh, the Clone Wars TV series in here, and I also want Rebels TV series. And if you had Mandalorian on here, you could add Mandalorian as well. Well, let's go over to the TV tab, and you can see we don't have collections. Well, it's nice and easy to fix. We'll just go down to the Clone Wars series. We'll edit. We'll go to tags. And then we'll just type in the uh, name of the collection that we want to add it to, which is the Star Wars collection. I already had that one ready to go. So I'll just hit uh, enter and save. And now it's added it to the Star Wars collection. We'll do it to Rebels as well. And why not? Let's do it to Clone Wars. This is the animated. Um, one not the 3d animated one so you can see uh collections didn't pop up but if we go back and refresh the page uh, we should get collections to pop up over here in the corner it has now now when we collect click on the star wars collection while we're in here did i not hit save i didn't hit save so let's go back over here to the star wars collection now this is inside of the tv shows tab we'll click on here and we'll see these are ordered by um release date and we'll see the movie collection down here ordered in the way that I originally had it ordered by numbers right now you see the TV shows are first because we're in the TV tab but we'll switch over to the uh, movies we'll click on the Star Wars collection again and you'll see the movies up top with the Star Wars shows on the bottom now um, and this is good if you just want to be like, hey, they did, they did a spin-off show. You want to watch that if you like this. It's a good thing. Now, let's just say you wanted to start a collection from scratch. You didn't have anything to go off of. You, you're, you were just like, I want to group these movies up together because I feel like they belong together. Whether it would be a, a genre like a kaiju movie or um, by an actor or just a fantasy movie collection. Whatever you'd want to do. For this example, I'm going to choose Mel Brooks. I think Mel Brooks uh, deserves his own collection and actually has his own collection uh, DVD uh, Blu-ray bundle out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my Mel Brooks movies. I'm going to make a collection of my own, which is extremely easy to do. So let me just go to the first Mel Brooks movie I see. I'm going to go to Tags. I'm just going to call it the Mel Brooks Collection. So you can type anything you want. You don't even have to put collection. I can put series i can just put mel brooks it doesn't matter so i'm just gonna hit uh add that 
and we're gonna save and now I've made a Mel Brooks collection uh, it'll be in here let me see where it is am I missing it Mel Brooks collection and it just has a default image of young Frankenstein because that is the only movie in there and it doesn't have any data on what we should use for a Mel Brooks collection now if you want to go the extra step and add your own art and everything I recommend this website the poster database you can just google tpdb it's run by the same people who do the movie database um, which this is a much nicer layout and uh, you can just search things like I just searched Mel Brooks now they didn't have a collections uh, tab over here for him but they did have an actors one now if we did do Star Wars just for example if you didn't like any of the default Plex Star Wars artwork that they had for the Star Wars collection I could search Star Wars or Star Wars the complete collection and there's also like a bunch of other ones that you could click on a bunch of other categories we just clicked on this one first oh I like this one you'll just click on it you'll view the big version of that and you'll just copy the image address go back over to Star Wars go to posters enter URL we'll paste that in and we have a new artwork for our Star Wars collection we're going to do the same thing with Mel Brooks. So we'll click on Mel Brooks over here. And the one I like the most is this red polka dot one. Uh, if I had to pick a second one, it would probably be one of these ones. I, I like the, the font on it. You want it to be something big and easy to see. Something you know you're going to identify with him. So we'll just click on that one. We'll click on the view bigger. If you want to download it, you can download it as well. I have no problem putting in the uh, URL into Plex. I think it's a lot easier because it's just a matter of uh, copy and pasting. We'll upload that. Good. And now we have the new artwork for our Mel Brooks collection. Now give me a minute. I'll add all my Mel Brooks movies. One thing to note before I continue, let's just say you were inside of a movie and you wanted to sort like an actor's collection or something. Or, you know, you just want to see what other movies you had that that actor was in. You can just click using the cast uh, metadata. You can just click on the actor and see what other movies they're in or directed or have any credit to. Um, you can just do it by clicking on the actor. I just wanted to say that so like, you know, a Mel Brooks collection isn't necessarily needed, but um, if you know, you're looking into how to set up your own collection, this is a uh, just a tutorial. One thing to note, when adding movies to a collection, once you already have the collection made, if you just go down to collections, you can type in the name of the collection if you would like, and it'll sort out collections that match uh, what you are typing. You can see right there, the Mel Brooks collection. And you can just click on it to add. Or also, if you wanted to, you could just go down to tags, click on it, and then scroll down. It'll, that, at that point, it'll let you scroll down a little bit further. And you can just scroll until you see the collection that you want. And you can just click on it. All right, we're all done with our Mel Brooks collection. As you can see, I just click on it. And I have um, all the movies over here. They're organized in a year of release date. I think that's uh, a good way to organize most collections. As long as the movies were released chronologically. Or... If you just, you know, these aren't a series of movies, so it doesn't matter. But like, let's just say we're talking about the Dragon Ball movies, which was uh, kind of the impetus for this. Um, these are all, for the most part, released in order. The only, you know, the only ones that aren't really uh, Dragon Ball Z movies are the uh, History of Trunks and the Bardock one. They aren't really technically movies, but I, I actually personally added them to the collection because I felt like they basically belonged in the movie collection as far as uh where they should be um yeah I, you know and just one thing to note these are your collections on your media server you can organize them any way that you want so you know you don't have to worry about other people being like oh you put that in there or you know this is your media server do whatever you would like um if there's any further questions feel free to ask i hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.